pressurization. Let us discuss the following question. The question says P and Q are two unlike parallel forces. When the magnitude of force P is double, it is found that the line of action of force Q is midway between the lines of action of the new and original resultant. Find the ratio of P and Q. Now begin with the solution. Let the unlike forces P and Q act at the points A and B. We know that two parallel forces are said to be unlike when they act in opposite parallel direction. Here in this question we have assumed that unlike forces P and Q acts at point A and B. So these forces will be represented like this. Now let the resultant of Force P and Q acts at a point C on AB produced. That means the resultant will act at this point. This resultant is equal to force Q minus force P. Now this point divides AB externally. So we have Q minus P by AB equals to P by BC. Now this implies BC into Q minus P is equal to P into AB. And this implies BC is equal to AB by Q minus P into P. Let's name this equation as equation number 1. Now, according to the question, when the magnitude of force P is double, it is found that line of action of force Q is midway between the line of action of new and original resultant. That means when this magnitude is double, then force Q is midway between the line of action of the new and original resultant. Now, the resultant of these two unlike forces will be 2P minus Q. And let us denote this resultant by R dash. Let's denote this point as C dash. So, if magnitude of force P is double, Then the resultant of unlike forces two P and Q acts at the point C dash. on AB produced. Now we have 2P by C dash P equals to Q by C 
c dash a equals to 2 p minus q by a b. Now this implies c dash b is equal to 2 p by 2 p minus q into a b. Let's name this equation as equation number 2. Now since the line of action of Q is midway between R and R dash. That is original and new resultant. Therefore, C dash B is equal to BC. So now from 1 and 2, we have P by Q minus P into AB equals to 2P by 2P minus Q into AB. Now this implies P by Q minus P is equal to 2P minus 2P minus Q. This implies into Q minus P is equal to 2P minus Q. This implies 4P is equal to 3Q and this implies P is to Q is equal to 3 is to 4. So ratio of P and Q is 3 is to 4. This is our required answer. So this completes the session. I and take care.